मैम यू फूड इज रेडी प्लीज She's waking up. Betty, go get someone. Eric, get your father. Why? We were so worried about you. You and Betty and I have been here for days waiting for you to wake up. Oh, thank God I knew you would answer our prayers. Honey, the doctors will be here any minute now. Are you all right? Good morning, everyone. I see our sleeping beauty here has woken up. Now, Miss Coleman, I'd like you to follow the light with your eyes. Tell me what you see. Miller. We were in an accident a few days ago. Raj here was one of the doctors helping me take care of you. Why don't we let her spend some time with her family? We'll come back and check on her later. Doctor, do you and my daughter know each other? Uh, I've never met her before in my life. 
Not before she was admitted, anyway. And how did she know your name? Don't look at me. I really don't know. Mr. Coleman, there's nothing to worry about. She'll be all right. Why don't you go back in there before those two women talk your daughter's ear off? Okay. So what can you two tell me about the patient? I don't know. I mean, I was really surprised when she said my name. What can you tell me that has any bearing whatsoever on her medical state? Good. Mm -hmm. How are you? Good. Uh -huh. How come you're home so soon? Because I wanted to be home with you, Johnny Man. <laughs> Did anything interesting at, at work happen? Uh, no, but it's about to happen tonight. <coughs> huh? Mm -mm, mm -mm. You're in a good mood. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I am. How's the fest? It was great. Yeah? The dancers are so excited about the festival next month. It's so good to hear. I'm so happy for you. Yes. Must be, huh? Black roadies tonight? Must. Mm. What? Thanks, who is this? Am I the first person to wish you happy birthday? Um, uh, well, it's only my birthday for about 30 seconds, so yeah, you're the first one. Who is this? You sound really tired. I'll call you back later. Okay. Happy birthday, John. Thank you. Okay, we should get some sleep. We have to get up early. Mm. Mm. Can you shut off the lights? Birthday, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What is it? Yes. 
I'm small. Hold on. Who could that be? Hello. Hi. Come, come. Where is my birthday boy? <laughs> if only I was still a boy, Dad. Happy birthday, my thank son. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is oh. for you. Thank you, sir. Happy birthday, my beta. Mm -hmm. Come, sir. Come. You can sit here. I'll get some chai. Coffee for me, please. Patient, Nate Rogers. 49-year-old male, scheduled for angioplasty last week, recovering well. Check cardiac enzymes every four hours for next three days. Patient, Claire Connolly. Female, 28 years old, complained of abdominal pain. CT scan shows abnormalities of the... This is Dr. Raj Krishnan. Hello, Raj. Hello. Did you get your parents' blessings? Yes, I did. Who am I speaking to? Someone very close to you. I don't recognize this voice. I'm sorry. You have a name? Well, I'm a very pretty girl. Okay, anything else? Um, I've known you for a long time. Okay, um, listen, pretty girl, I actually have a lot of work to do, so how about we play this game later? Okay, Rajkumar, how about I come and see you? I'll meet you at the JC Cafe at 6 o'clock before you leave work. Okay, fine. Patient, Claire Connolly. Female, 28 years old, complained of abdominal pain. CT scan shows abnormalities of the soft... This is Dr. Raj Krishnan. Hi, darling. How's your birthday going so far? It's going good. I'm just trying to get some work done so I can meet up with you later. Some kid or something called me and it was just strange. Oh, about tonight. Kavita's back from India and she has the dance outfits for the girls. So I'm going over there tonight to pick them up. I won't be home until around 8. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll just finish up some work. Uh, it's building up, so I'll see you later. Okay, honey. Happy birthday. Thanks. Patient, Claire Connolly. Female, 28 years old, complaint of abdominal pain, CT scan shows abnormalities of the soft tissue. Dr. Raj Krishnan, mental hospital, how may I help you? Raj, my man, how are you? Good to hear from you today. Good, man, you have no idea what I've been through. Do you want to get a cup of coffee? <sighs> no, reach my quota, two for the day. All right, you're lost, cute interns in the cafeteria. Check mm. you later. All right, take care. So, um, you're the girl from the hospital. The one who was in an accident, right? Life is full of accidents, isn't it, Raj? Uh, well, are you feeling any better? A lot better after seeing you. Okay, miss, um, we've never met before. Not before you're my patient, anyway. I don't know who you are. How did you know it was my birthday? How could I forget it was your birthday? Why did you leave me, Raj? I love you and I would do anything for you. Miss, um, 
You've been in a serious accident. You probably don't know what you're talking about right now. Come back to me, Raj. You need to go home and get some rest. If you'll excuse me, I have to leave now. I'm your bubbly, Raj. Honey, do you want to renew the subscription? Oi, Raj. Hmm. Do you want to renew this? Renew what? I'm sorry, John. I'm just working on something for a patient. Dr. Krishnan. Always lost in his thoughts. Jessica? Honey? Are you coming to Eric Saka game with us tonight? something wrong with that girl. Mom, she was just in an accident, and the doctor says it's normal that she's a little confused. Lindsay, you're not listening to me. I'm telling you, she's been acting very strangely lately. Will you leave her alone and let her rest? Elizabeth Ann Coleman, I will not leave her alone and let her rest. I raised that girl since she was six years of age, and I know her better than anyone. You mark my words, there's something wrong with that child. You'll see when you come over. So, are we all going to Eric's soccer game tonight? Hello? Hi, can I speak to Jessica Coleman? Uh, for Jessica Coleman. Mr. Stack still has a white blood cell count of 14,000. He has a temperature of 104.2. Uh, just increase his vancomycin drip 10 milligrams. Okay. okay. Thank you. Right. What are you doing here? How do I look, Raj? Look, miss, I don't think you should be in here right now. If you don't like the way I look, I'm happy to- It's not that. Look, there's some serious misunderstanding. You need to just go home and get some rest, okay? Okay, Raj. I'll do anything for you. Okay. You should leave now. Dude, what was going on in there? Uh, nothing. She was just having some memory problems. She thought she knew me. So I'm going to talk to Dr. Miller and see if the medication we gave her was side affecting her. Well, maybe you should check with her family. I mean, she could be Looney Tunes. No, oh, she's not Looney Tunes. 
Well, whatever's going on, you better figure it out before your wife does. I mean, Uma doesn't strike me as the type of woman who would let her husband role play with the other patients, you oh. know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're always working hard. tell you about something. It's about this girl. She knows all these things about me that she couldn't possibly know. Is this? Hi, um, I apologize. I'm actually one of the doctors that's been working with your daughter, and um, I wanted to ask uh, some questions about her. <sighs> After her mother and I split up, Jessica and I sort of drifted apart. She was pretty sore at both of us for breaking up. And I don't know if she ever got over it. Jess went to live with her grandmother. And even when I remarried, she never really got that close to Susan, her stepmom, or Carl, her mom's new husband. I think. She always wanted us to get back together. I mean, Jess loves her grandma and her aunt and even Eric, who's her half-brother. But I don't think she ever had a real sense of family. She's been missing one almost all her life. I'm s sorry to hear that. Well, doctor, I don't know what else to tell you. Jess is a real good girl. She's a decent, honest person, no thanks to me. That was all my mother's doing. If she says she knows you, she must believe it herself. I just don't see how that's possible. You can talk to her friend Mandy. Jess has known her almost all her life. They've been real close ever since they went to grade school together. They just grow up so damn fast. You got any kids of your own, Doc? No, uh, not yet anyway. Call Mandy. She'll be able to help you help Jess. So, how are you doing in school, honey? Um, I'm doing okay, I guess. Have you had any tests? No. Not no. recently. <laughs> Jess? 
Honey? What's wrong with Jess? She doesn't speak to me anymore. I don't know, sweetie. She's just not herself these days. Why? I really don't know. I just keep praying for her. Jessica's dream was always to marry a great guy and have kids and a life in the suburbs with a white picket fence. <laughs> and she held on to it, even though she's been through a lot. So I think she just needed something that she could make happen, mm -hmm. at least until recently. Why? What happened recently? Her luck with men has always been bad, but it got worse. First there was Jeff, that bastard. All he did was play video games. Hey, hon, how was the gym? I'm gonna hop in the shower. I don't even think he had a job. He spent almost $10,000 of her money and split before she got any of the bills. She was so embarrassed. I don't think she ever told her parents. He messed her up emotionally and financially. Then there was Sean, who had eyes for every woman in the world except Jessica. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. She finally caught him having sex with her cousin, in her bed, while she was supposed to be out of town at a funeral. Thank God she caught him when she did. <laughs> After all that, she still wants to get married? Oh, that's not even the worst part. There's more? <sighs> Is it time yet? Almost. I've been waiting for this day for so long. This is really happening. <laughs> Why don't you just finish your makeup and I'll be right back. Mike, where the hell are you? Mandy, look, I'm sorry. Just tell her that I can't. You can't? You can't what? Find the balls to tell her yourself? I can't do this, Mandy. I don't think that I should be getting married right now. What the fuck are you talking about? Everybody is here. Your wedding is supposed to start in a half an hour. You can't even talk to Jessica yourself. Look, I'm not coming. That's it. Mike. Mike? Mike? I think something inside her just broke. See, the amazing thing about Jessica is that even after all that, most people would swear off love forever. She still believes her true love is out there. That's impressive. I mean, I just wish she loved maybe someone she knows instead of me, you know? I know, and I don't know what's going on. I mean, after she was left at the altar, Jessica got really spiritual. She started meditating. I think she was just using it to take her mind off the nightmare her life had become. She said she was seeing these strange visions. Maybe they were flashes of her past life? I don't know. That past life stuff? Uh, I don't know too much about it, but I don't think that's how it works. I'm sorry, Mandy, and I'm sorry for your friend, but I have a life of my own, you know, a present life with a wife and a career and a family that's not gonna enjoy the fact that there's some random girl thinking that she and I are married. I don't know what the problem with Jessica is, but all I know is I can't get any more involved in this than I already am. My wife and I are expecting company, so if you'll excuse me.
Come on. Are you ready? Well, okay, just another more ten more minutes and I'll be done. No, another, another more ten more minutes. Uh, go and get dressed. Oh, okay. I'll take care of it. Fine. Okay, just stir this and then mm. after ten minutes shut it off. Okay. okay. Huh. Oh, did I put salt? I'll take care of the salt. Just go get dressed. Okay. okay. Uma? Yeah, very good. Uh, oh, thank you. Two compliments in one. This is nice. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So, so glad, glad you could, you could make you. it. Hello, nice to meet you. Uma? Oh, I yes, can't yes, yes. I can't get over your dress. Oh, thanks. It's a sari. A sari. Yeah. <laughs> you look beautiful. I love your thank skirt. You. Oh, thank you. What a beautiful table. Thank oh, you. so yeah. good. The food looks so interesting. All the colors. <laughs> Ready to eat? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you're gonna pass the rotis. Sure, That's the sure. bread. Uh huh. Oh, thank you. Thanks. And then the first dish over there is the chicken curry. Um, it's not too spicy. Uh -huh. And this is rice in here, and um, this is lentils. So you can put the rice and then you put the lentils on top of it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then this is eggplant with onions and mm -hmm. um, tomatoes. It's a little spicy, but it's good. Uma, everything looks so delicious. It must have taken you hours to prepare all of this. Mm -hmm. Eating Indian food is a huge deal for my wife. When we got married, black pepper was too spicy for her. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you teach dance. Yes, I want to do it all my life. Oh, that's wonderful. If I hadn't met this handsome young doctor, I'd be dancing all the time. Don't blame me. <laughs> so how long have you two been married? 31 years. I got married the week after we both graduated college. I didn't have a lot of time to plan that wedding, I can tell you. So, when did you two meet? I knew she was the one the moment I laid eyes on her. First day of high school. It took me a whole year to work up the courage to ask her out. We started dating when we were both 15 and been together ever since. Wow, that's amazing. Did you both go to the same college? No. And I thought that was going to be the end of us. All I could think about that first week was about all the new girls he was meeting and how he was going to forget me. Mm -hmm. But that first Saturday, he showed up at my door, soaking wet, carrying a bunch of roses. And he said, I've waited all week to kiss you. Dr. Miller, I didn't know you were such a romantic. <laughs> well, I was in love, and love makes you do crazy things like Walk 30 blocks in the rain for a bouquet <laughs> of red roses. But I tell you, it was worth it. She stood by me all through med school and residency, and you know how hard that can be, Raj. Mm -hmm. I can see you two kids are crazy about each other, too. And that's all that counts, being there for someone no matter what. Look, 
I don't even know what I'm doing here. All I need to know is how you know so much about me. How you know anything about me. What made you send me a peacock feather? Someone very close to you knows it's your favorite rush. Love you, Rush. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello? Hi, Neith. your day? Uh, exhausting. Um, one of the attending doctors is on vacation, so our team has to cover his patients. You must be so tired. Yeah. You can tell me all about it during dinner. Come. Um, actually, I just ate out of the hospital, so I'm gonna get to bed. Good night. And this is Laura from the firm of Myers Kidman. Hi, Raj. Wish you a happy Diwali. I just really hope our love keeps burning forever. Love you. Call me soon. It's your bubbly. <laughs> Sorry, I missed dinner. I was swamped at work. I called you during lunch. Were you at work then? Yeah, um, we had to prep for a complicated surgery, so I'm just kind of tired. I'm not going to get into details. All right. Good night. I saw you at the cafe, Raj. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I saw you at the cafe with that girl. You ignored my call. Bubbly. Now I'm your bubbly? After you go out with girls all day and then you come home late? Now you want it's me? It's not like that. But, uh, this girl, she's just a patient and... But you're cheating on me with one of your patients? Disgusting. Should kick you out of this house and they should kick you out of the hospital. I'm not cheating on you. Just calm down. This girl needs medical help. That's the only reason oh, I'm Oh, so she her. needs medical help at a cafe? What are you giving her? Caffeine therapy? Wow, Raj. Am I not a good daughter-in-law? A good wife? Great. What's this now? Uma. Can you please just calm down and listen to me? I was gonna tell you about this girl, and I swear there's nothing going on. I won't listen to any of your lies. I can't believe I ever trusted you. You've gotta be kidding me.
husband, say something. What's the matter? Roger's cheating on me. Are you sure? Maybe some misunderstanding. How can there be any misunderstanding? I saw him with another woman. With my own eyes and he's calling her bubbly too. No, no. <laughs> no, I don't cry. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Everything is going to be all right. Raj, beta, I need to talk to you. Uma is very, very upset. I know, Sav, I know. I swear, I can explain. It's not what you think it is. Please. Remember, when you came to me asking to marry Uma, you promised me you, you are going to be a very good husband and you are going to take care of her. And see now, she comes to me crying. You have disrespected her in the worst way. Raj Beta, you are a part of family. Tell me what's happening. Anil Saab, I meant everything I said when I told you that I love your daughter and that I would do anything for her. I'm not cheating on Uma. She just saw me outside the hospital with the patient, and she mistook what she saw as something else. This patient, this girl, she just... She knows so much about me that... I don't know how she would. My birthday, she calls me and she... Come on, beta. In this computer age, it's like this. Anybody can know your information. It's not like that, Anil Saab. I mean, the thought did cross my mind, but she just knows so many things about me that no one else could possibly know. Personal things. Like what? The other day, she sent me a peacock feather and the card that says, your favorite bird, Raj. And El Saab, I've never even shared this with Uma, but for my whole life, when I was angry, when I was sad, just think about this brilliant bird and its beautiful feathers. And somehow my worries just disappeared. I've never told anyone that. Not Uma, not my parents, not anyone. And she knows. You know, in med school, they always say, when you hear hoofbeats, don't look for zebras. At first, I thought maybe this girl's disturbed or something. But now I think there's more to this mess than meets the eye. I will get Uma back, I promise. But I just need to find out how this girl knows so much about me. <laughs> Maybe it's the past life, I don't know. Beta, if what you are telling is true, you have to do the same thing what she did. <laughs> what, you mean meditate? Yes. That's the only way to find out. Otherwise, Uma is going to leave you for good. Believe me, she's not going to believe you or neither anybody else.
Pretty? Hey, bubbly? 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 Happy birthday, Raj. What is this? Surprise. Peacock? My favorite bird. I love you, Raj. Love you too. So, how do I look, Raj? Very pretty. <laughs> Thank you. I have a surprise for you too. Really? We are going to Jaipur for the Camel Festival. Really, Raj, you are the best. Thank you so much. Can I have some coffee now? No, not more than two cups a day. Come, we have delicious dinner waiting for you. returns of the day. Thank you, Dad. God bless you both. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Dad. God bless you. Happy birthday, beta. Thank you, Mom.
I love you. I love you too. You know, Raj, I will do anything for you. Really? Yes. Okay. Give me eleven kids to make our own cricket team. Granted. Any coffee? Every day, whenever I ask. Okay. Liar. I mean it, Raj. That's what you will say now. I do. You ask me anything to do, and I'll do it for you. Can you put your hand on that fire, then? Thanks for coming. I knew it was a bit vague on the phone. But you said you could help Jess, so I can. What happened to? I need to live my own life. Sorry, Raj. I just. She's been hurt so many times. I know. I need to know that you're the real thing. I am the real thing. And I'm sorry I was rude to you before. Look, all Jessica needs for her to come back is to find real love and happiness. <laughs> as weird as it sounds, she needs to be kissed by someone who truly loves her. You've got to trust me on this, Mandy. I need your help. Sure, Raj. I just hope your plan doesn't take a hundred years to work itself out. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Let's do it. Anything for Jess? Mama. Hi. Hi. I just um, came to get. Shouldn't you be at work right now? Yeah, I just switched shifts with someone. I just came to get a few things. I I, I ran out of clothes. You look different. Where are you going? Mom, we need to talk. Can you just stay for a few minutes? I have a lot to tell you. The craziest story I've ever heard. I know. Oh, I know. I know how unbelievable it sounds. I know it doesn't look good. I'm just trying to help a girl get better. I'm a doctor. It's what I do. I just figured out what I have to do to help her find out who she is. 
And that's where I'm going. To see her again? Raj, I've been sitting here listening to your whole story. Do you honestly think I'm an idiot? No, but I just want you to listen to me. I have been listening to but you. I'm trying hard to explain. And every time I try to explain, it just sounds more ridiculous. I already have a happy life with you, Bubbly. I love you. I love you too, Raj. I'm getting late. I have to go. What? I'm sorry. She'll be waiting and I have to go fix this, otherwise it's going to be a never-ending story. I promise you I'm going to take care of it. What did you do? What? I think it looks creepy. If you think so, then I'll keep it on. I love you, Raj Kumar. I... Uh... I'll call you tomorrow. We haven't got to dinner in a long time. What's with the- Don't ask! Look, this kiss, it can't be me. Mandy, I was like, uh, but no, it's just not happening. It's not happening, Mandy. Okay, it's okay. Happening. It's not gonna be you, but then who? If it's not me, then uh, somebody else. Somebody like me who will take care of her and love her and treat her fairly, just not me. Somebody else, because my wife left my house and I'm- You sound like that's easy to find. It's not like Jessica hasn't been on plenty of dates. We're in this together, right? Yeah. How about I plan a dinner and you find someone for tomorrow? What? Tomorrow? Hey, Mandy. Hi, George. How you doing? Good. Good friends. I haven't seen you in so long. Yeah, it's good to see you. Uh... Since high school. Yeah. <laughs> This is Raj. Hi. How you doing? George. Raj, pleasure. And this is... Pretty. Pretty. Sanskrit. Sanskrit. That's what they speak over in Iran, right? Did I say something wrong? Sanskrit is what they speak in India. Uh, George, not Iran. Oh, I'm so sorry. But he was a straight-A student in shop class. So, uh, what do you like to do? She likes India. Um, you want to go to India? Or? Uh, I, I love to travel. I mean, I'd like to go, you know, in the future. I'm trying to stay away from that area right now with the flying area, you know. The terrorism warning. Brian? Raj. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, what's going on? Uh, hey, man, it's good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Uh, are you still working at the hospital? Yeah, uh, doing the doctor thing. <laughs> what's going on with you? Uh, you know, writing, traveling. I was just at an ashram in Dharmasala with the Dalai Lama. Um, Thailand, Singapore. I just got back in town. I've sank to the poor. <laughs> nice. You still got the sense of humor, I see, huh? Yeah, corny. <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm Brian. I'm sorry to introduce myself. Uh, this is just... Pretty. Pretty. Pretty, nice to meet you. Namaste. Namaste. Um, is your wife? Uh, no, it's just, um, it's a friend. It's from a long time ago. Uh, okay. <laughs> we're actually heading home, so... All right, um... Well, we should get together. Yeah, sometime, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. All right. It's good seeing you, man. See you. Uh, I'm stay. See you guys. Yeah. Good morning, Vita. Hi, Ma. This looks great. You don't have to do all of this, you know. <laughs> it's okay, Ma. You need to take a break. It's not like I'm cooking for Raj anyway. And I'm sure he's missing that. Suma. Whoever it is, they better have breakfast. Just thought I'd stop by, say hello. Mm. Hello. <laughs> so, how's your parents? Mm. They're good. Uh, I talked to my mom the other day. Told her I bumped into the skinny kid from the neighborhood. She said she's sending her done samosas. The samosas were good. Mm hmm. Say your wife? Mm hmm. She's beautiful. <laughs> um, coffee? Yeah. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice job. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> how's your friend from the other day? Um, Preeti? She seemed nice. Hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> she is really nice. Not from here, though. Come <laughs> on, man. You don't tell me you showed up all this way. You brought breakfast. Mm, and you're single. I don't think it's because of me. <laughs> no, man, you know, I'm on the road to enlightenment. Mm. But trying to find a girl is a lot harder. Maybe. So, she's not from our high school? No, no, no. I know her from a long time ago. You like it though, don't you? No. I mean, I don't even, I don't even know her. Mm. And she is pretty though. Hmm. 
What are you doing this weekend? So, uh, what's your book about? Uh, spiritual connotations of water. I mean, water symbolism, water imagery. You know, every great culture, every great religion believes that water is sacred. Um, that's fascinating, isn't it? Um, when's it coming out? In six months. But I actually have a book about palm reading out that's out now. Really? <laughs> what would make you want to write about palm reading? Well, I was in Mysore and I had my palm read. And I mean, I was shocked at how seriously these people take it. I mean, they regard it as a science. So uh, I did a lot of research and I wrote a book. Uh, I actually do a little palm reading myself. I don't wanna brag, but can I see your hand? Do you have any idea what you're doing? I can show you how to read your palm if you like. The, uh, You've been around for a while. This is your love line? Hey, man. Hey, Raj. What's going on? Uh, not much. Just doing some work. Mm. Just wanted to thank you for inviting me to dinner the other day. <laughs> Look, man. I know it was probably a little awkward for you, but she's a really sweet girl. Mm. Yeah, she couldn't take her eyes off you the whole time. <laughs> Don't work. She's just a bit shy. Huh. She is cute. Well, then. Don't give up so easily. Spend some more time with her, and you'll see. You two are a good match. I promise. All right. All right, man. Well, I'll catch you later, all right? Cool. Okay. Bye. What are you doing here? Um, your, your father let me in. This is for you. What is it? Open it.
Dr. Mishra just came back from India. So I had to bring you back some new CDs for your class. Thought it'd come in handy for your next performance. I thought you were angry at me because I was dancing too much. I could never be so angry with you that I didn't want to be with you anymore. Maybe if you're making a song. going on between that patient and I. And I promise you, I'll never have to worry about her again. I love you, and I'd do anything for you. Thank you. Chai? You want some chai? Yeah, thanks. I like your salivar. It's very Bollywood. Oh, thanks. Raj used to tell me the same thing. Have you been to India many times? Yeah. Have you been in the Jaipur Camel Festival? Yeah. Raj and I used to go all the time. Really? Great place. Great food, animals, energy, spices. Play any sports? Raj and I used to play some cricket. We'd go out into the backyard and I remember we were so poor that we couldn't even afford a bat, so I, I just got this piece of wood. And uh, I used to use it to hit the ball, and Raj used to tell me how he thought it was pretty cool that I could get it across the fence. Wow. I, he never told me that. Can you excuse me? Y yeah, it's fine. Go ahead. You're breached. Dr. Raj Krishna. Please leave your name, phone number, and a detailed message, and I'll get back. You alright? Hey. Yeah. So how'd it go? <laughs> Interesting. I mean, what's with this whole Raj, Raj, Raj thing? Did you sleep with her? Yeah, in a previous life. Anyway, listen. She's a really good friend of mine. Do you like her? It's a sense of calmness I like. I can make this happen for you. What are good friends for, right? Let's do it. You too. When you didn't show up for the dinner, I got so worried. Brian was there, though. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, he was fine. I missed you, though. I get so sad when we're apart. Really? Yeah. Gosh, I love you. I love you too. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Raj, that makes me so happy. You know how I'd do anything for you. That's what you say, yes. Well, you don't believe me? People say all kinds of things. They say I love you, they say anything for you. They don't really mean it. Raj, I mean it. I'll do anything. Brian's a really good friend of mine. And he's in love with you. He's gonna take really good care of you, I promise. He's gonna propose to you. And I want you to say yes. 
one. Are you crazy? I want you to marry him. No, Raj. How could you say something like that? See? I know you want to do it. You do all these easy things, but when it comes down to actually doing something that would prove to me that you love me, nothing. Get out of my house. Well, Raj. Raj, I love you. I don't care. Leave. Raj, please, come back to me. I'll do whatever you want. There's something else I want from you. If you can't do this one thing, nothing more. Get out! Dearly beloved, we are gathered today in the presence of God to unite these two people in the bonds of holy matrimony. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Jess, have you met Ryan's friend Raj and his wife Uma? Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going down to the house, so I'll see you on the floor, all right? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Honey, we've been waiting a long time for this day. Congratulations. Thank you. 